Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a Tuesday edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you so much for joining me. It really means a lot. Hey, if you think that somebody could benefit from uh, any of these five minutes sessions with me, uh, please share away. S send them to your friends. Uh, it's not about me. We just want to help people. So uh, I hope you'll take advantage of that. Um, today, I want to talk to some people that might feel uh, a little weak. Uh, I want to talk to some people that may feel like they need a little bit of strength in their lives. Uh, today is a good day for you to tune in. I want to take you to one of my favorite passages uh, in the Bible. It's in 2 Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 16, verse 9. That's in the Old Testament. And there's a verse there that uh, I just love, and uh, I want to encourage you with it here today. Uh, check this out. Here's what it says. For the eyes of the Lord range throughout the earth to strengthen the heart of those who are fully committed to him. So get this picture, right? The eyes of the Lord range throughout the entire earth and he looks to strengthen those whose hearts are fully committed to him. I think that's incredible. Uh, a lot of us, I think we get this picture of God just kind of, you know, sitting on a throne and, you know, wondering what to do all day. And, uh, and, and that's not God's posture at all. God, think of this, okay? God literally looks for an opportunity to strengthen people whose hearts are fully committed to him. Now, here's the question. Here's the question, okay? Is my heart fully committed to God? Or is it just partially committed to God? Uh, I, I believe that, just like in marriage, for example, <laughs> we, we would want our spouse to have a 100% commitment to us. No ifs, ands, or buts. You are 100% committed to me, and I'm 100% committed to you. Well, the same way with God. We, we need to have a 100% full commitment to the Lord and let nothing get in the way of that commitment to Him. And if that's our posture, if that's the way that we are with God, then the good news is, the Lord looks for as many opportunities as possible to try to strengthen you, to try to uh, take you from your moment of weakness and put you in a position of strength. And today, if you're feeling a little bit weak, and I'm not even talking about spiritually weak, but in all honesty, maybe uh, emotionally, for example, you're just not feeling very strong. Maybe life has kind of hit you kind of hard, Maybe because of the responsibilities that you're facing. Maybe because of some stuff that you're going through personally. And emotionally, you just feel a little bit weak today. Um, the Lord is looking for an opportunity to make you strong. And I think today is that day. Uh, maybe even physically you're weak. Or maybe spiritually you feel weak. Or you're feeling beat down. And I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad at all here. But what I am trying to do is to encourage you to know that the Lord is looking for an opportunity to make you stronger. So do you need his strength today? Do you need his help today? Uh, I want to pray for you that God would specifically give you that and that you could carry that truth with you throughout this whole day and the rest of this entire week, knowing that God is looking for an opportunity to make you strong. So let me pray with you as we shut this down and close this out. Lord, I pray for my friend who might be watching here today. God, if they're weak, whether it be emotionally or spiritually, physically, whatever the case might be, Lord, uh, I pray that, number one, you would check us and help us to make ourselves fully committed to you. And God, when we're in that position, Lord, I pray that you would give us strength to move on. And God, that you would give us the strength that we need to do whatever it is you call us to do. So God, take the weak person, the person who needs strength, make them strong, I pray. And God, I'll thank you for all you do. In your name, Jesus. Amen. All right. Walk in the strength that God gives you, okay? God bless you. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.